Hello everyone and welcome back. In our last video, we had installed the Raspberry Pi OS on our Raspberry Pi. So in this video, we will set up the VNC viewer on our Raspberry Pi so that we don't need to connect the monitor to our Raspberry Pi and we can connect it to from our laptop or our computer. Every Raspberry Pi OS has the VNC viewer installed on it by default. We just need to enable it from the preferences. So click on this application menu. Go to Preferences and go to Raspberry Pi Configuration. Here go to Interfaces and enable this VNC option. Then click on the Display Settings and set the Headless Resolution to 920 by 1080. This will be the resolution of the Raspberry Pi window on our laptop or computer when we connect to this Raspberry Pi remotely. Now click on OK. It will ask you to reboot the Raspberry Pi. Click on Yes. Now, as we have rebooted, we can see the VNC viewer is automatically started. Click on this and you can see it will show as no connectivity. So close this window and click on this network option. Now connect to your Wi-Fi network. After you connect to your Wi-Fi network, again click on this VNC menu. Now here, you can see the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. Note this IP address so that it will be useful when we want to connect to this Raspberry Pi from our laptop. To connect to the, your Raspberry Pi from your laptop, you need to install the VNC viewer on your laptop. Go to your browser and search for VNC viewer. Go to this realvnc.com website. Here you will find the options for various operating systems. Download the installer as per your operating system. I will download it for Windows. The installer is now downloaded. Go to your download location and run the installer. Select the preferred language and complete the installation process. Now, before you launch the VNC viewer to connect to your Raspberry Pi, make sure your laptop is connected to the same Wi-Fi network to which your Raspberry Pi is connected. Now in the search bar, search for VNC and open the VNC viewer. In this search bar, type the IP address of your Raspberry Pi that we noted down when we set up the VNC viewer on our Raspberry Pi. Then click the enter button. If this gives you this warning, click on continue. Now enter your password and username that you set up when you installed the Raspberry Pi OS. Select this remember password button so you don't need to enter the password every time you want to connect to your Raspberry Pi. Now click on OK. As you can see we have successfully connected to our Raspberry Pi from our laptop using VNC Viewer. From now onwards you don't need a monitor to connect to your Raspberry Pi. You just turn on your Raspberry Pi, it will connect to your Wi-Fi network and now you can launch the VNC viewer on your laptop and control your Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I am able to control my Raspberry Pi from my laptop very smoothly. Thank you for watching the video. Do subscribe my channel and like the button if you like my videos. See you next time.